Hi everybody, it's Susan and I am back with another drill with me. I am working on Alice. As you can see, I have not done anything since my last drill with me, which I'm hoping is not going to be the case every time. I don't want to drag this um, drill me out for, for like probably a hundred episodes. So I'm hoping that between um, drill with me's I can get some done. Um, and not just relying all of it um, to do on camera. So, um, I apologize now if the light kind of goes in and out. I've noticed in the camera that sometimes with the, my light pad, um, my lighted area will go dark and then come back light. So, if it does that, I apologize now. Um, it's definitely not intentional. I am trying to find a decent workspace to be able to do this and keep the whole thing in in the camera. Um, just trying to get everything situated. Um, so, as you remember, we did this part last time. Um, we had a lot of turquoise. Um, and everything in it and this one's got quite a bit of blues it's got some light colors but a lot of it is the different shades of blue that we got going on here um looks like a lot of k's a lot of n's so i am not going to use a three placer unless i can use a three i've noticed that when i try to use more bigger than a three it just makes the drills so messy and so hard to um, get on there straight. I don't even see a three placer, so I may just have to do this. Um, just doing it as ones. So, I have all of these drill tool sets I got down here. I bet I won't be able to find one easily that has a three placer on it <laughs> so yeah that's the story of my life <laughs> I think my other three placer that I've been using is in there with my um Star Wars picture that I'm currently working on if you could see underneath here you would like there's like oh look there's one okay I found a pen that has a three placer on it already. Okay, we're going to use that for three placer for ones that have a three on it. Everything else is going to be a single. I am going to use my light blue unicorn that if you saw my video yesterday, I named Leo. So I'm going to use Leo. Um, yeah. So, okay. Let me get some wax on it because... I know it's kind of crooked. It's kind of crooked. You said that. Isn't it crooked? Oh. oh dear. The whole thing just popped off. Oh no. Okay, I'm going to put Leo away, and we're going to use Phoebe instead, which is the purple one. Oh, it's a little crooked too, but it's straightened up. Okay, we're going to use the, the purple one instead, or the pink one. Is that pink? That's purple. Okay, let's get some wax on her pan. I do try to put a lot of wax on to begin with. Okay, now let's put some wax on our three placer. That will be ready when we need it. Let's do it one more time. Okay, so how is everybody doing? I am doing okay now that I'm home. I, I really don't like my job, guys. I don't. 
it's so aggravating okay um i don't even want to get into it however my daughter just texted me and she asked me if i wanted to go see pet cemetery tomorrow which would be wednesday because today is tuesday so after we work out i was like i'm gonna get to go see pet cemetery which i wanted to see so yay she asked me if i wanted to go so i'm excited about that because i love horror movies and i love stephen king movies almost all stephen king movies so okay let's start with n first and n is bum bum Maybe capital N. We got a small N and a capital N in this set. So $37.50. Now we got a runaway drill part here. <laughs> See? Run away. Run away. Okay, so where's my spoon? I'm only a little bit disorganized, not all the way. There it is. It's hiding in the corner of my thing. Okay. So, what I will probably do is tomorrow when I get off work, I'll probably go ahead and film my um, whip video showing you what I'm currently working on, which won't be very long at all, I'll be honest with you. Um, so, let me pull this down just a little bit so I can capture stray drills. Um, so, I'll do that first thing. Oh, I've got another spare, another runaway. Um, do that first thing. Um, that way I don't have to worry about it when I get home tomorrow from the movie. So, yeah. But. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and use our multi-placer. Not right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So. Anyway, see it's still a little crooked. Does everybody's come like that? I hope not. I know my other one that I've been using hasn't wasn't crooked like that, or if it is, I didn't even notice. So but yeah. Like I said, this is my Alice in Wonderland. Um, this is from Real Shining. Um, it's where I got it from. And it is more of a... I would say it's a more of a grown-up Alice. Just because the, cause the creatures look a little bit more scarier than the cartoon version. So... yeah it looks to me it looks just like a, it, it looks a little bit more adult like so um yeah i wouldn't do this for a child but i'm hoping to at least get this much done so we'll see And then I still, I haven't done anything else on my mystery um, painting either. So I've been, I worked all weekend on my husband's picture, which I will give you an update on that one tomorrow with my video. Let you know how much of that I've gotten done. Um, and then 
This weekend, I'm hoping to be able to do a little bit more drilling, but I do think that my beaded cross stitch pattern will be arriving sometime this week. Um, I don't know for certain. So, it's in the United States. I think um, last I checked, it was in Stamford, Connecticut. And it's got to come to um, Northwest Arkansas. So, it usually takes a couple more days there. And then, um, the mystery painting that I bought for my second partner, it should be here Thursday. So... I'm hoping to get that sent out to her on Friday or Saturday after my nail appointment. Um, so, but that's going to be with some other pictures that I got from Real Shining. So, Real Shining here lately has really become my go to store. Um, don't get me wrong, I still love every moment and everything, but um, for some reason I'm just, it's it's been all about real shining right now to me. So um, I'm glad that I'm working on one of their pictures. This I got this from real shining as well. I think I said that already, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. Um, so, yeah. And the video that I recorded yesterday, the one where I unboxed the one from Diamond Art Club, the one from Mandy, that was not meant to go public as soon as I published it. I um, I gotta remember to check that when I upload it, make sure it's not automatically set to be public. Sometimes it is and sometimes not. I don't understand the whole, it drives me nuts. Um, but, oh well. I still got one more that I unboxed um, over the weekend that still needs to go up. So that one was supposed to go up yesterday or today, but since the Diamond Art Club accidentally got published right away, I went ahead and just kept that up, and we'll do the I'll do the other one either tomorrow or Thursday. So, and Thursday I am, let's see, Thursday I might film another drill with me and work on the mystery painting, but that depends because we're going to be um, prepping for um, my mother-in-law's um, birthday dinner that we're having on Friday. Um, there's some things that we can make a little bit ahead of time that we're going to be doing on Thursday. Um, just so that we don't have to worry about it on Friday. Um, so, and then she'll be getting her gift, which was the season's tree. I will show that to you tomorrow or show you during that, um, my whip video as well. It's, um, completely done and framed. I think I said that in another video as well. Um, so yeah. I think she'll like it. My husband thinks she'll like it, so. I hope so. But. I was um, watching Rachel's video on um, her little, uh, not little, sorry, um, her cr beaded cross stitch tutorial. Um, I was watching that as I was working out and it looks like it's going to be a lot of work to do one of those. Um, and it might take me forever to get the one done that I ordered. I don't think I ordered a very big one. I don't think so. Um, so I'm hoping that it won't take me forever in a day because that's something that I'm probably only going to be able to do, um, like say while I'm at work or something, cause I can't diamond paint at work. Um, 
Of course, I don't even know how I'll be able to do that at work, but we'll see. You never know. So, see, I just, it just feels so crooked when I use a multi-placer. I don't know. I want to go to the single. I'm sorry. So, let's see that one that I left off. I missed. But, as you all know, sometimes there's silence, and I don't mean to be silent. Just trying to concentrate a little bit. So, Anyway, I wanted to tell you all something a little bit about what I do. Um, I work for a company called Circo. Um, we handle um, marketplace health insurance applications and things like that. Um, right now I do phone calls where I call consumers. I can't give off too much information, but it's it's a lot of time spent on the telephone doing a little bit of research um sometimes i get to talk to people who are really nice and very accommodating with me sometimes i talk to people who hang up on me as soon as i um tell them who i am which you know it's it is what it is so but I also put in for another position in another company because I definitely don't want to work at Circo for the rest of my life. Um, so, who knows? Maybe I'll get an interview. Maybe I won't. Won't be the first time I ain't got an interview and I thought that I was perfect for a job. So, I really miss my job that I had at Walmart. I miss the people that I worked with. Um, so that's been a hard um, thing to have to deal with, not being able to work with the people that I enjoyed working with before. So, so trying to get used to that. But I'm sure they don't think about me very often. Oh, well, you know, it is what it is. So. So y'all um, saw my puppy in my video that I recorded yesterday. She has been really not liking me very much here lately. Um, <laughs> for some reason, when I got home, you know, usually when I get home, she's all loving and wanting to get in my lap and cuddle and everything and today she got a little upset because i had to ride the bike because i got up too late to do it this morning so she went under the bed which she usually does when i am um, pull out the clippers to clip her clip her claws um she went under the bed and i didn't understand why and she never came back out until my husband got home. And then, for some reason, she doesn't, isn't wanting to have anything to do with me. She keeps running under the bed whenever I come in a room. And it's, like, it's not like I abuse her or anything. The only thing that I can think of is that she got mad at me because I had to put a new flea collar on her um sunday and um she thinks i tricked her or something to get to do that but yeah she's been she's been mad at me i'm surprised that she let me hold her long enough to even get her on camera yesterday it took some coaxing just to even get that much in there that i did she's been stubborn Stubborn, stubborn Ray. So, and like I said, tomorrow, me and my daughter are gonna go see Pet Cemetery, and 
I've already got tickets for um, the Avengers. And I will tell you that if where you live is anything like where I live, if you are wanting to see the Avengers and you haven't gotten tickets yet, you ain't going to see them right away. Because literally everything was already sold within two days of when tickets went on sale for the Avengers. I, me and my husband, we usually like to go see um, movies on Friday night when they first come out. And so, but he wanted to go as a family to see the Avengers. So we were going to try to go see it first thing that first Saturday morning after it comes out. So I went to the theater and um, asked and they said that if you want something besides front row, you're going to have to wait until Wednesday, the following Wednesday. Um, now, they did have tickets for Sunday afternoon, but it would not have been, we would not have gotten out in time for my daughter to go to work because she works on Sundays. The new movie is at noon. The movie's three hours long. She goes to work at three. So there's no way that she would have been at work on time. It would have been closer to four. And um, so we let her know. And knowing her, she will probably go um, she'll probably go see it before we will. Um, but she'll go see it. So I only ended up being able to get tickets for me, my husband, and my son for that Sunday. And we are in the back row. Because our theaters up here, they have um, reclining seats and reserved seats. So you don't have to worry about arriving early just to get a decent seat because you've already got your reserved seats. So the only seats that were available for the first week after the Avengers comes out was seats that were in the front row or seats that were scattered one and one onesie twosies through the theater where we wouldn't have been able to sit together as a family. Which kind of defeats the whole purpose of going to go see it as a family. So, we have tickets to go see it for the first Sunday it's out. Which is so unlike us. Um, and I guess if I had been thinking straight, I would have worked harder to get earlier tickets. But, I didn't think that they were going to be selling them this early. And then as soon as I saw... A commercial saying that they were on sale that's when I went the next day after I went to go get tickets for Shazam um, and that's when they told us that if you want to see it and not be in the front row or at a time when all four of us can go it would be the Wednesday following the movie premiere and there was no way I was gonna <laughs> be able to wait a whole week to see that movie so that's what we'll be doing this Sunday I believe we're going on the 28th to see it so just looking to make sure I didn't miss any oh, I don't know if so. But I am so excited. And then I just watched a video on YouTube that was from the Jimmy Kimmel show. It was a video of the surviving Avengers from the first one reading a children's version of a Thanos book. Where it was not as dramat tra traumatizing for kids. <laughs> For to see all the the guardians and all the other Avengers die, 
and that was funny watching that i really highly recommend you looking that up especially if you like the movies it's hilarious because they really do they kind of make fun of each other um give each other a hard time about everything so it was cute my husband showed it to me right before i started recording but that is on youtube look for jimmy kimmel um avengers reads children's story that sounds like a good thing to look up to find it so I wanted to um, apologize for my comments the in the other video about somebody going through and disliking my videos. Um, it was not meant to be, or I don't think I tried to mean it as a slight towards anybody. Especially if the person that did it didn't realize what they were doing. Um, it just really took me by surprise um, that that happened. So um, I just want to apologize to um, Tess because in case she did do that, I understand where she was coming from. Um, but you know, it's like people aren't always going to like what a person puts out and I understand that. Um, but I've always felt that everybody and everybody has a right to their own opinion. So I think I was just making a mountain out of, out of a molehill and I apologize for that. It was not my intention to um, hurt anybody or make anybody feel bad for their opinions. So, I think I'm just going to leave it at that. And I wanted to remind everybody again that you still have one week to enter the giveaway. Um next next Wednesday is when I will be selecting the winner and like I said I will be um, putting everybody's name on an Excel spreadsheet and as I'm filming I'm going to run a Excel formula so that you all know that I'm being fair um, to randomly generate a winner and then I will post my email address and ask the person who, who gets selected to contact me. And you will have until Saturday evening, which is at least three or four days, to contact me and let me know and give me your address. Um, if I don't hear from the winner by Saturday evening I will film another video where I pick another winner and we'll try it again um, I think right now there's probably about 14 or 15 people who have rep replied or re commented on that video and that's the only way you can enter is if you comment on that video um, I'm not doing that to um, rack up the comments I just because I don't have a list of who has subscribed to my channel I have no way of knowing who you are unless you comment on the video so to enter you have to comment um, and again the the prize is the Elizabeth Therese is that I hope that's right um, 
the right name. The 45 piece assorted um, bead storage tray. Um, I will, as soon as I hear from the winner, I will send it out the next day. That's my goal anyway. Um, so, and then I will supply you with a tracking number so that you will know that it's been sent out and you will be able to track it. It will be sent USPS. Um, so, but yeah, so if you want to enter and you haven't already commented, make sure to comment on the video. Um, I will probably close comments off uh, probably about probably about the time I get ready to start filming um, is when I'll probably close off comments and just go with what I have for who has commented. Um, give everybody a fair chance to comment and get entered. And as of right now, I have 90 subscribers. So if I get another 10, um, there will be another giveaway and that will be for the four pack um, snowman diamond paintings um, that I accidentally received a second order of. So, and I'll probably do that the same way where I'll have it open for two weeks and y'all comment to enter. So it'd be exactly the same. Um, and I did say before that if I hit a hundred before I do the first giveaway prize, I'm going to, I'm still going to post the giveaway for that because I don't want it, um, too long to go because I don't want to forget. <laughs> so, yeah. So, look for that if I hit a hundred. Um, like I said, right now I've got ninety. So I'm getting close. I want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel and watched my videos and commented. Um, everybody has been so kind and very welcoming and that makes me feel really good because I was really nervous to start this channel. And my husband really encouraged me and that meant a lot and he puts up a lot with a lot with me coming in here and taking time away from us being together to film and everything. Um, so, a lot I try to do when he's not home or when he's doing something else that I'm just not interested in. Like right now, he's probably in there watching YouTube videos about fasting and keto and <laughs> everything. And then he'll be um, watching some TV, some shows that I really don't, I'm not that interested in watching, so, wrestling is on tonight though, but I'll probably watch it some other time, just kind of wondering if Seth will be on it tonight, because there was Smackdown wrestlers on Raw last night, so, kind of wondering if Raw wrestlers will be on Smackdown, there's a superstar shakeup going on next week, so I'm hoping that Seth, well, Seth's the, Seth is the universal champion, so I'm hoping he'll, they'll have him stay put where he's at. I need him to stay on Raw. Because <laughs> I just, I don't watch SmackDown that much. And there's nothing against SmackDown, it's just, it's on a Tuesday and there's other things going on on Tuesdays that... I do so my ends are getting a little bit more sporadic now I'm trying to go row by row to make sure I don't miss any because I know that with me that if I don't I am going to put my ends up I am going to go to another color and then I am going to see some please forgive me if my arm is in the way so That happens to me every single time every single time I think I'm done with the color I will put it up 
start working on another color and then come across one. How many of you does that happen to? I bet a lot more than <laughs> you would think. So. I could almost spell my name with the colors that's in this section. S U S. Is there an A? There's an A and there's an N. So yeah, I can spell my name in here. <laughs> Not together. I haven't seen it actually spelled together, but that would be cool, wouldn't it? I think that would be cool. I'm going to have to get a drink of tea here in a second. My mouth is getting really dry. I did bring out my pick one book um, to do a few of those. I really don't have a very interesting life. Or I feel like I would have more stories to tell. Although, me and my husband, we did go to Barnes & Noble Friday before the movie. And he saw a Yoda puzzle there. Um, so he's been kind of giving me subtle hints about it. And then I just happened to be looking on um, in a shop. I believe it was um, Home Fund that I was looking at. And they've actually got that puzzle as a diamond painting. And I told him about it. And he didn't really say anything. Like, oh, okay, well, if you want to get it, you can get it. Or anything like that. He just kind of brushed it off so... I don't know what he wants me to do. So I need to I need to work on a puzzle. Okay. Now I think I just got I think I got all the ends done. All the capital ends anyway, because I see some smaller ends. So is it nope, there's two right there. See? Right here at the top on the top. Almost. It almost got me. It tried to. <sighs> okay. I'm going to say that I'm done. Okay? All right. Okay. Let's see if that holds out. Okay. These back. Come on. Oh. Don't be such a pain in the rear end. Quit it. Quit it. <laughs> Why are you sticking together? That's not necessary. Okay, I'm going to get the tweezers out. Don't fall. Please don't fall. Okay. Careful. Carefully. Okay. Good. That was kind of scary there for a second. Okay. Let's see. Uh, you. You, 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 you. And that is on the second page. Did 
3808. Which is in the same section of colors. Okay. That one is more turquoise color. I don't know if y'all can see. See that color. Let's see if that will be enough. You, 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 you. Okay, so this is a question going out to all of the Diamond Art Club bands. Um, as you might know, there are new canvases arriving on the 15th, which I believe is Monday, 12, 13, yeah, Monday. Um, out of the ones that they have already shown us, I think um, today I saw um, a Tinkerbell done by Mandy Manzano um, just briefly on Facebook. Um, which canvas are you more excited about getting? I know I said yesterday that I have to have a Jessica Rabbit one. I, I've got to have it. I don't know if I'll be able to get it right away or if it's something that I'll have to wait um, wait for, but I definitely want to get that. Um, so, are you? is there one in particular that you've already seen that you are wanting above all else? that is like okay I will drop everything I've got and I would literally work on just that painting you have one like that um, that you want from Diamond Art Club um, I think that if I if I ever got Jessica Rabbit I think that I would be that way I think that I would, along with working on the custom of my husband, which has to be done by his birthday, I would literally drop everything and just work on Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> just because I want, I want that one so bad. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I got to have it. So it's like, hmm, I wonder if I can work some overtime at work to be able to afford to get it. I love Mandy's work. I got so many of Mandy's picture paintings that you all haven't even seen yet. So, yeah. Did you all partake of any of the clearance items that they had for sale? Um, I did get a few. I got the, the Mandy and Manzano um, unicorn one. Um, it's still sitting in the box. I haven't even unwrapped it yet or un or even looked at it. Um, I looked at the, I got the, another Seasons tree, but it is super small. Um, and then I got um, the one with the kitty cat who looks at his reflection and he's a tiger um, on, in his reflection. Um, and then I got Soulmates, which I got really small. I don't think that one's going to turn out very well. So I don't know if I even want to do that or not. Um, we'll see. I just... I want to get Cinderella. I don't have Cinderella. For some reason, I haven't gotten that. I mean, I've, I've got Snow White and I've got... Um, God, that might be the only one of the fairy tale ones I've got. I do have others from Mandy. Um, I had the wizard one, the Wizard of Oz one. 
Um, I'll just have to look. And then, of course, I got the the K Rico siren that I unboxed yesterday. Um, that was huge. So it's bigger than this one, and this one's fifty by a hundred. It's not as big. This one is not as big as the um, Disney Princess one that I did. The first one that I did. Um, my very very first diamond painting. I decided to go big. Uh, go big or go home or nothing at all. I guess. <laughs> so. Okay. A lot of K's and J's in this middle section here. Silence, silence, everybody, silence. So, all right, let's see. What can you all tell me about yourselves? Um, if you want, why don't you all tell me what your favorite TV show is? It can be a show that is not on TV right now, like it's been already been off the air. Um, it can be a current show. It can be um, okay. It can be either a current show currently on um, a show that's no longer on the air, um, or or whatever. Um, me, my favorite show is The Walking Dead. Um, it will be my favorite show until they decide to take it off the air. I do not miss an episode. I might have times when I'm not able to watch it on, on Sunday night. If that's the case, it will be watched Monday after I get home from work. It's not one that sits around on a DVR not being watched. Um, I am still um, horrified by how this season ended. The season finale, I think, was a little bit anticlimactic climatic after what the episode before was. If you haven't watched it, I'm not going to give it away. Um, so, I think that the episode that came before the season finale, I think would have worked better as a season finale just because it had such a big thing happen. Um, my husband feels the same way. But I like I like the season finale. The season finale was good. The season finale gives me a hope that a particular ship that I have been, a particular couple that I have been wanting to happen since almost the very beginning or at least season two, might happen. We'll see. I still have that hope. Everybody laughs at me. Everybody says, no way, it's not going to happen. But my hope is still there. Um, we will see what the new season brings. Um, so, but yeah, my favorite show that's currently on the air is The Walking Dead. And... Um, of course, um, Monday Night Raw is another one of my favorite shows. I watch it every week. Sometimes I don't watch that when it's on. I'll have to wait a couple of days before I watch it, but it always gets DVR just in case I happen to fall asleep in it during it, which is normal because it's on till 10 o'clock at night and I have a tendency to be a very very early sleeper so I am um, so yeah those are my two favorite right now um, 
Big Bang is another one of my favorites, but of course this is its final season. So, um, it's kind of bittersweet. That's another show that me and my husband, we don't, we don't wait around to watch. We watch it when it's on. Um, we didn't watch it religiously until about maybe season eight or nine or so. Excuse me. Um, but we had, um, we had bought, purchased the season DVDs and we just binge watched them like crazy. And then after that, we started watching it, um, every week. And, um, usually if nothing else is going on, um, at six o'clock, they usually have two episodes on locally. So we'll watch that if we're not doing anything else, trying to catch up on any other shows. Um, God, there really is a lot of my shows that I like here lately. Um, another show I like is Bull. Bull, B-U-L-L. -L. It is on CBS on Monday nights. Um, the season is almost over. It's still going on. Um... I haven't heard if it's going to be back for fourth season. I hope so. Um, but Michael Weatherly, who plays the main character, he's he's gotten into a little bit of trouble here lately. But I'm hoping that that doesn't affect the show. It will make me really it will make me really sad because I really like that show. Um, it comes on Monday nights while wrestling is on, so that's usually a show we watch on Tuesdays um, we also watch the the good doctor now that that show has ended its season already and it'll be back next year it's already been renewed um, so that's a good show I don't know if anybody knows but that show is based off of a Korean show that my one of my children has seen and um, I don't know if every episode is similar to what was on the Korean show, but they said that the first episode, the premiere episode, was a lot like the premiere episode of the Korean episode, the Korean show. So, um, that's another show that me and my husband will watch. Um, I think that's the only ones that is like a must 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 watch for me anything else i think i'm okay with missing if i end up missing it it's not a big deal so but if we're going to talk about shows that are no longer on the air my favorite show is charmed and I do mean the original. My son loves the, the, the reboot, but I, um, no, I've tried. Um, I love the original. I love, love, love. I loved Piper. She is, she is my favorite. And the really, the, the love story between her and Leo, um, to me was just like one of the best love stories on TV. Um, I thought that they did that really well. Um, I think the characters had really good chemistry together. Um, one of my favorite episodes was the the Seven Deadly Sins um, episode where they got infected with um, one of the seven deadly sins and like leo i think he got um sloth and um piper got uh greed i think is where she was buying everything that was on tv um that was that was a great episode watching them together in that one <laughs> that's just one that's just one that's kind of stood out to me um so, yeah, 
Um, another show that I liked that when I was growing up was uh, Three's Company. Y'all remember watching that show? Um, Jack Tripper and with John Ritter and he was he was awesome. I love John John Ritter. Um, that was a crazy show. I recently got that. That whole series is available on DVD. And I got it. So, yeah. So tell me what you all like to watch. If it's a show that you can't not, not watch. You have to watch it when it's on. Or you just like feel like you're lost. <laughs> um... So yeah, tell me what you like to watch. So here in a second, I'll we'll bring out the the pick one questions and go through some of those. Let's see, I'm going up into almost an hour now already. What I'll probably end up doing is. Um, stopping the video probably about an hour and a half um it's already gonna take a while to upload on my internet so i'll probably stop it about an hour and a half finish this section that i'm currently working on and then um i'll come back and show you what it looks like after i get this part done so it's a lot of yous over here <laughs> Again, I think this is all part of the the caterpillar, huge ass caterpillar that's on this picture. Um, yeah, it's crazy how big this caterpillar is. Let's see, I almost missed some. A moose, but not quite. <laughs> I hope y'all don't mind my silence when I get that way. I don't mean to be. Okay. Almost looks like there's a hole here, don't it? But no, it's just that is part of the table. I can. That's part of the table where everybody is surrounding. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Okay, let's open up the pick one book and see where we're at. Last time we stopped at parrot or pick or cockatoo and I don't even remember what I picked I don't even think that matters because I really don't have a preference for one or the other but I think I mentioned the parrot in that one commercial that was reading off somebody's social security number um, y'all seen that video or video commercial so, the next one after that says church wedding or destination wedding. Um, see, now I feel like I did this one too. Um, me and my husband got married in a church in a different town. So, does that count as a destination wedding? Um, Whereas destination weddings, like weddings where you get married in like Hawaii or Italy or something. Some place that you don't normally live. <laughs> so, 
but like I said ours was a church wedding ours was um, at my mother's church when she was alive in Oz she lived in Ozark um, so yeah So it's kind of a little bit of a both on that if you consider just going to a different town as part of a destination wedding. I think I mentioned that my first wedding was done in the backyard of my ex-husband's mother's house. That probably was a bad sign right there. <laughs> No, I don't know, but yeah. I would probably say a church wedding over destination wedding because the destination wedding, you gotta worry about being someplace you don't know. So. My hand's in the way, I'm sorry guys. I just don't know how to put these diamonds on without my hand getting in the way. <laughs> I think I got all of them from this section down. Next question. Uh, start rumors or spread gossip? Ooh, maybe one of those are good. Um, can I pick neither? <laughs> I don't like to start rumors and I don't like to spread gossip unless I know for sure that the gossip is true. But then how do you know for sure that gossip is true? Unless you're gossiping about yourself. Then you know it's true. So. I'm going to have to ixnay on both of those. And say, nope, neither one. Neither one sounds appealing to me. So. There might be quite a few of these that I'm going to have to ixnay on both of them. <laughs> I hope that counts okay a little bit <laughs> ah I heard one fall somewhere where'd it go did it get put a no 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 I hope it didn't get stuck somewhere it wasn't supposed to get stuck to oh um, I think that is all of the U's. Okay, I'm gonna call the U's good. Don't know what happened to that tree. Okay. The use was what number? 3808? Yep. It's the last one. Come on. Let's not be stubborn. tacos or crunchy tacos um if I had a pick I would probably have to say 
crunchy tacos for sure. Um, just because if I wanted something that was soft, I'd eat a burrito. <laughs> so, okay. L is 9.30. Um, so, yeah. I would say a crunchy taco over a soft taco. My husband is one that likes the soft tacos. Um, so, he would be all over that for sure. Okay. 9.30 looks like it is a kind of a blue-gray... I don't know if that is coming across very well on the camera. So, I think my light flickered. Did you see that? Okay. So, this one is L. Let's we'll see how many we got of L. Um, not too many, so that might be a little too much. Let's see. Uh, spicy or mild um I don't like things that are too spicy do y'all like have a favorite way y'all hold your trays up here um I don't like things very spicy so for me it would have to be mild um I think it has something to do with it doesn't agree with me um I did have to have gallbladder surgery probably about mm, 18 18 years ago um and ever since then, I've had trouble with um, certain foods. And anytime something spicy comes up, it's it just, no, it doesn't agree with me. So, um, if I had to pick, I'd have to pick something mild. My husband hates it because he likes spicy foods. He likes jalapenos and things like that. And I never was a big jalapenos fan. Jalapenos fan. Um anyway so yeah it just doesn't work out it's one thing that we do not agree on at all so uh funnel cake or churros i okay i've had funnel cake I don't think I've ever had a churro, um, so I guess in that case I would have to say funnel cake, um, just because I've never had a churro before. Mm. Do I even know what a churro is? I don't know. I don't know. Do I know what one looks like? Obviously not if I don't know what it is. There's got to be some kind of dessert, right? Um. <laughs> Surely. Um, so, yeah. Like I said, I have a very boring existence. Diamond paintings bring me joy. My family brings me joy. My puppy brings me joy. Watching Seth Rollins brings me joy. <laughs> I'm so pathetic. Oh, I'm pathetic. Okay. Um, okay. You've got to go. You've been, like, driving me nuts. Okay. Sorry. I had an ant. Um, oh, I thought I saw some L's up here. Uh, I did. Right here. Uh, Audi, Audi or Tesla? Uh how about a Dodge? <laughs> I am a Dodge girl. I got a Dodge truck. I got a Dodge Durango. I got another Dodge truck. Okay. Actually, only one of the Dodge trucks are technically mine. And the Durango is technically my son's. Although it used to be mine. Um, <laughs> we're a Dodge family. We're a Dodge. We're Mopar all the way. So... Audi, no. Tesla, no. So, yeah. <sighs> Another one, Ixnay on both of them. So, okay. Uh, croissant or scone? Uh, definitely a croissant. I love croissants. I can't eat croissants right now, but I love croissants. <laughs> yeah. I love just bread. 
<laughs> and this bread. I think that's all my L's. Nope, there's some up here. Ah, where'd that one go? I fell off my pen. Uh, amusement park or water park uh, amusement park um, the reason being is because of my leg and the stocking I have to wear on my leg it's not very conducive to being in water so yeah not a water park for me Okay, I think I found my runaway drill from my use. So, let me see. Get my tweezers. This one up. If I can. Yeah, that's my U. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to raise this up. And I'm just going to place it on a U. There you go. Okay. Good. Done. Good. Okay. Uh, boom, boom. And I think that is all of my L's. Not now. I think it's all my L's. I knew I didn't have very many. Okay. I think now I'm going to get my J. I'm going to, I got a lot of J's, so I'm going to have to make sure I get enough of that. So, was it, my L's was 9.30, right? Yep. So, let's put these back. Yep, that's all of them. And see which ones are K. Are you doing K or J? J. J. J is 823. Uh, that looks. Let's see. That is a very, very dark blue. We all know what 823 is. That's a common color. Um. be enough I don't know would it be close but we'll see okay I'm gonna do the J's and then that would probably put us at about almost an hour and a half um so let's do the J's we'll see where we're at and then I might stop the video and um, continue on off camera and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like this part's done okay so I don't want to feel like I'm cheating y'all but if I do this whole thing on camera it's gonna be like three hours long and I don't even know if I'll be able to finish it all tonight what time is it it is 8 16 right now so um, yeah we'll see Uh, journaling or blogging? Um, probably journaling. Um, just because I've tried um, a few times to do a blog and I'll get going on it and then I just stop. I just, I just grow bored with, um, with, with it. So, <laughs> now, um, does anybody play The Sims? Um, I I do, and it's been a while since I played. Um, I get once when a new game when a new game comes out, I get really really into playing it, and I will play it nonstop. And then I get kind of to where it's like, oh well, okay, you know, it's same old same old, and you're just waiting for the next expansion pack to come out. Um, but I used to um, 
do challenges that I would read about on the Sims forum and I would do the challenges and I would take screenshots and it would be kind of like a story mode and then I would post them on a website or probably um, a website slash WordPress which if you know WordPress it's a um, blogging um, content management system um, where you can basically create your whole website using WordPress if you know if you know how to um, maneuver around it um, so I did that for a while and then it just got to where okay come on does anybody else's do this it's like it just freaking went in Use a different one. Um, yeah, just um, create kind of like a story mode with screenshots and everything. And but that was my whole foray into sorry um, into blogging. And I had fun with it while I was doing it, but as with everything else, I kind of got bored with it. So aggravated because I felt like I was putting it out there and nobody was reading it or um, something until I really have issues I hate I hate feeling like I try to put something out there for other people to enjoy and they don't or they don't care to um, trying to get out of that mode I think having this um, channel helps because I know that um, while I am recording videos I'm recording it not only for people to watch and hopefully enjoy but a lot for myself because um, it gives me something to, for, to look forward to doing because I think that if I wasn't doing this, I probably wouldn't diamond paint very much, especially since I'm working now. Um, this gives me a reason to still do this and still love doing this. So. I hope that makes sense. And hope that doesn't make me sound weird or egotistical or pathetic or whatever that's definitely not my intention but anyway all that from just saying I'd rather journal than blog <laughs> so you'll let her go on tumblr um I used to actually do role play um on tumblr where I would role play as um, wrestlers. That was a crazy ass time in my life. That was just a few years ago, but that that really took over my life. And I think it made my husband worried because that's all I did. Um, and just about cost me my job at the time. So, anyway, I'm getting off topic. Okay, spoon or fork? Spoon or fork? Okay, that one makes no sense because A, with cereal, are you going to use a fork? No. And with steak, are you going to use a spoon? No. So, how can you have a favorite between a spoon or a fork? That makes no sense why that one is even in the book. Somebody explain that to me. If you can, because that is confusing. <laughs> so, 
you know what's weird is that when you got the light pad on and you're putting down these colors it really looks like a big mess and as soon as you turn the light pad off and really look at the colors it just makes it look awesome oh and there was something else i wanted to say um i was working on my my little star wars one earlier today and um is that the other one that ran away from me No, nope, that was a J. Um, and all those, I don't know if you remember, but all those Star Wars ones, they have the background that's either 5200 or 3865. Well, I'm working on um, C3PO and R2D2 one, which you'll see in the other next video. Um, so theirs is 5200 and I'm currently working on the background kind of going around and it's it's blowing me away how much you just put that white on the canvas and how much it just pops out of the picture and I know you think that co the color is what pops but man I don't know what it is but when I look at that it just it just looks awesome to me um, with the white I don't know if anybody else feels that way but to me it's like it's crazy how it pops like that okay I'm gonna use my multi placer here for just a little bit because there's a lot of J's So, uh, pretzels or potato chips. Um, I've never been a big pretzels girl. So I would definitely have to say potato chips, even though I haven't had potato chips in a long time. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I gotta get my tweezers. Got some wax on the canvas. So, yeah. Potato chips definitely over pretzels because I'm not really a very big pretzel fan. There's really a lot of things I don't like. A lot of weird things that everybody else is like, man, you're nuts. Yeah, I know. I can't help it. Okay. Enough of that because it's still not getting it very straight. Fine, fall on the ground, fall. You're going to anyway, so just do it. <laughs> you hear that squeaking? I'm sorry if you can. Okay. Next one is Angry Birds or Candy Crush. Um, Candy Crush aggravates the Sam fuck out of me. Excuse my language. But it just... it grates on my nerves especially when you get to a level that is just unfreaking winnable and you spend 
ages on that stupid level just trying to get through it and you just can't do it so I would definitely have to pick Angry Birds over Candy Crush any day. Um, Angry Birds, you get to kill some pigs, so that's always fun. <laughs> and you get to throw birds. Not that I would in real life, or not that I would kill pigs either, but... Seriously? I'm trying not to get my O arm through here. Hot pockets or pizza rolls? Um, I'm going to have to explain on both of these. Um, just because hot pockets, they freaking burn my tongue whenever I have one and I have never really ate pizza rolls my son and my daughter both eat and love pizza rolls um so hot pockets not really so much it's okay it's okay just losing your mind Look at this one. Um, lobster or shrimp? Hmm. Okay. I have had lobster twice in my life. And it was so delicious. Um, shrimp, I have had numerous times both fried and boiled um so just from sheer amount that i have had i would have to say shrimp but if you take me to red lobster where i could pick one or the other i would pick lobster um, so, that one is kind of a hard choice. Um, lo mein or fried rice? Okay. Don't shoot me. Don't hate me. Don't judge me. But I am not the biggest fan of Chinese food. I don't know why. I've just never really liked it. So, I am going to have to ixnay both of these. Um... Yeah, just because it's not my cup of tea, so to speak. So, uh, chocolate covered cherries or chocolate covered raisins? Uh, probably the cherries. Um, just because I don't think I've ever had a chocolate covered raisin before. I wouldn't even know what one of those tasted like. So, anyway, yeah. Okay, guys. It is past 8.30. I have... Just about at an hour and a half drill time on here. I am going to go ahead and end the video. But I'm going to keep working. And if I get done with this section tonight, I will um, go ahead and add an addendum to this video. 
and show you how what it looks like. If I don't get it done tonight, I will put it in my whip video that I will record tomorrow. Okay? Um, so, subscribe if you haven't. Give me a thumbs up. It helps my channel get out there so other people can find me. Um, remember to go comment on the giveaway video so that you can be entered for the storage um, units. And um, I will hopefully see you in just a second or two with this completed section. If not, um, look for my whip video um, to be out tomorrow. Hopefully I'll get this up tonight. If not, then, um, the whip video will come out on Thursday because I don't want to release this one and then release that one on the same day just because I don't want to overwhelm you all so y'all don't get tired of me. Okay. All right. We'll see you in a bit. Bye. Okay, guys, it has been another well, another hour and a half. It's almost 10 o'clock, but I got this part done. Um, well, it looks like in the, with the light on, let's turn the light off so you can see. As you can see, you can start, part, start to see other part of the caterpillar. And this is the table coming through. Now this is the caterpillar as well. So, yep. So it took me about three hours to do about this much right here. So I don't know if that's a good average or if I work really slow or fast or or what. But that's what we've got done so far. So, all right. I will talk to you later. Bye.